Are you trying to come up with healthier options for your family and make breakfast a little easier on yourself? If you're a mom like me, I run out of ideas very quickly and my kids revert to Cheerios. But today on our video, we're going to be making pre-made breakfast trays. All you have to do is pop them in the microwave and you have a healthy option. So stick around. We are a family of five living on a ranch in Texas. On our channel, we will cover a variety of topics. These are solely based on our experience and opinions, and we do not hold any degrees in childhood development or education. Welcome back to Parenting on the Ranch. I'm Jessica. And I'm Curtis. So today we're going to try a little adventure in cooking. We saw these um, dishes on a Facebook group that I'm on and we're gonna try them we're not very good at breakfast we're the quick easy simple breakfast cereal uh, pop tarts yeah. oatmeal things like that so we're gonna try and make the prepared meals that we showed a second ago so in our meals we are making 10 prepared breakfast um, trays so the trays that we're using are these black um, compartment trays. It has a smaller side and then it has a larger side. We got 30 at Walmart for I think like $5 about Christmas time. And they do come with lids. They're fully microwavable. They can go in the dishwasher. So they're reusable, which is great in our family. Uh, so we're going to be making 10 of these that we can both have each morning. We're going to be doing 18 large eggs. Um, we're going to see, we have 20 like pre-cooked pre brown and serve sausage links that are turkey. My lovely assistant. It's a glare. So we have these brown and serve um, you put them in the toaster, but they're also microwavable. Just, you can cook like five in a minute um, with them. So that's good. So we're going to be using the 18 eggs, the sausage links, and that's it. We're just, so the instructions that I saw on Facebook, it was for microwavable breakfast of eggs and um, sausage links. You just cook them for about a minute and a half to two minutes and stirring them once while they heat up to make sure that they're fully cooked. After that, we're hoping that, you know, this is just enough, but if it's not enough for breakfast, we're gonna throw it all into, cut up the sausage links and throw it into a tortilla and make a burrito. So you can also, if you don't wanna buy these compartment trays, sorry, um, you can just pre-make the burrito, roll it up in clean wrap, and then it's easy, throw in your bag, go to work, at least for him, and, and nuke it in the microwave. So here we go, wish us luck. And you can add things like green bell peppers or uh, Onion. onions or some like tater tots or something like that. And when you make, when you pre-make your burritos, you know, pre-make them, put everything in there, wrap them up, freeze them, and then you cook them for, you know, five minutes or something like that in the microwave. You know, that's something we gotta test as far as you know how long to cook them and stuff like that but we're saying super generic on these ones because i mean it's just eggs with salt and pepper and the sausage we're not going crazily wild with these you said a good point with these you can freeze them so if you're a single person or you're going to be the only one that's eating it so if it makes 10 trays put you know three or four in your refrigerator because i think they'll last I think it said, if I remember right, like five days. So put a couple in your refrigerator, but put the rest in your freezer. And when you get to, you know, if you have five out, when you get to the last two or three, pull some more out of your freezer and, and just do it like that. So, I mean, these are good for freezing. They are freezer friendly um, with the lids. So, I mean, you can just make a whole bunch. Mm -hmm. Do this on like Sundays or something like that yeah. on, on the day before you start to go back to work make your week's worth of meals and mix know, and match yeah you know make a burrito one day make a eggs and sausage the next day something like that you know 
try something different, experiment a little bit. But you know, we really wanted to do this because we got tired of the cereal, we got tired of the pop tarts and the oatmeal, you know, the generic stuff that's prepackaged and, and it's just not healthy. It's yeah. not a healthy option. You know, doing this is it's a healthy, it's good protein. You know, that two eggs in the morning is great great protein for you. Mm -hmm. And you know, the, the sausage links, whether it's the turkey sausage like we're using or regular sausage, you know, you get your proteins, you get your meat, you know, you can throw a piece of bread in there and make toast or something like that as well. So it's a good option to do in this, what we're going to try and see how it turns out. And if you're budget friendly, like we are, we're trying to be. So let's talk cost. I bought an 18 pack of large eggs uh, for $2. The sausage links I bought, there's 10 in a package. I bought four packages. Um, they're not, they're a dollar a piece. So we are basically at six dollars so far. And if you throw tortillas in, you can get a ten pack of tortillas for about two dollars. So I mean, for what a total of eight dollars, you get a week. We have minutes. well, we'll have ten breakfasts. So even if you're the only one that eats them, I mean that's a long time. Mm -hmm. So. A whole lot better than going to like McDonald's or something like that and spending five dollars a day on breakfast. Well, think about Sonic. You get that Super Sonic burrito. It's mm -hmm. five dollars, I think. Mm -hmm. And I mean, yes, granted, it has a lot in it, but you know, mm -hmm. I like making it myself because I can be a little more in control of what all goes into it mm -hmm. and how it's cooked and how it's prepared and yeah, all that. So, so we're hoping that. If this all works out, like I said, you can mix and match. You know, make make five with onions and bell peppers, make two with tater sauce, whatever it is. But like I said, we're going super generic on this first one because we've never done this before. So it's just that. So we're gonna start with the crack it, putting the eggs in a bowl, whisking it all together. I add milk in them. It seems to make them a little bit fluffier. So we're gonna do that. And then the turkey sausage we're just gonna put it it is frozen now we're just gonna put it in the container and then we'll nuke it whenever we go to eat the meal so here we go all right so we simply broke up our 18 eggs uh, into our nice middle wool that my wife really likes uh, once we got it all in there, you're just going to whisk them up. Uh, we put salt and pepper and a little bit of milk in there. And, of course, we use our, our ranch dressing mix that we tend to do a lot. Then simply scramble your eggs like normal. Uh, we put a little bit of butter in our pan so it doesn't stick as much. And sorry about the lighting situation here. We were trying to figure out what exactly would be a good lighting situation. Uh, I, th I think we should have just turned off the light. But that's not the point. Anyways. Just scramble your eggs a little bit. Um, we like ours just a little bit brown, uh, so you might see a little uh, darker areas here, but scramble it up really good. Um, the better, the so more, the better. So I have 18 eggs here cooked, um, milk, salt, pepper, ranch dressing. Now I'm just portioning it out into our 10 little trays. I'm doing a half a cup measuring spoon just to make sure that they're pretty proportional because I want to see exactly how far all these eggs are going to go. I'm going to have to do more eggs next time. What? This one? Yeah, it's going to grab it off. I almost put it in the wrong spot. It's a big scoop. Okay, so I've only filled up eight of them, and I mean some of them aren't even full enough to cover the bottom. So I think in using 18 eggs, I mean I added milk, so it it did a, went a little further. I would probably use the I think it's the three dozen one, the big square one, instead of just 18. That way I can get all 10 in. I mean they're not even. The little cups are like an inch thick. They're not even halfway full, so. And I just have a little bit. You know, doing, doing 18 eggs, and there's eight of them there. Mm -hmm. 
You know, that's... But, I mean, it's not even one burrito's worth of eggs. Mm -hmm. So, I mean... You know, this one... I probably needed to do a cup per thing. So, I needed eight cups of eggs. What's that look on your face for? So that's basically two eggs per meal. Is what that is. Mm -hmm. A little bit more than two eggs per meal. What if you didn't have you out three? Two eggs plus a little bit more. But you know, considering we're only putting eggs and sausage in these, I'd probably put a little bit more. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and you can even take this and do you know do a scale if you wanted to, where you have a a certain amount if you so mm -hmm. choose. You know, get a scale to measure it all so it's even. You know, it doesn't have to be even though, but you know that'll give us three days worth of of meals, so that'll last us over the weekend that I work. So we'll try it out over this weekend and, and go from there. And that's one thing to consider is how often you work. You know, if you work five days a week, then make five. You know this this would work for you. It also depends on how much eggs you like. Cause sometimes I'm not a real big egg person. So, you know, I think the 18 would have been good if we added the pepper and the onion and you know, the tater sauce and the sausage, you know, a half a cup of eggs would have been fine because the rest of the stuff would fill it. Mm -hmm. But considering we're just doing eggs and sausage, I mean, that's it. So here's the little sausages. I don't know if they can see my hand. So here's the little sausages. And I was gonna cut them lengthwise and then chop them up, but it, it's probably better to do it once they're cooked. So I'm just gonna throw two in each one. Especially with the frozen. Yeah. Oh yeah, we ate one. These are really good. These kind, I get them at, um, at HEB, their banquet brand. They have turkey, which we eat a lot of turkey because we don't eat like pork sausage. Um, but they have beef and then they have original, which is pork version. But they taste pretty good. The kids like them. So. Like I said, you can cook five in a minute and they're like toasty hot and they look like they've been grilled. So... So since I had to open this package, your three will get extra. Mm -hmm. I'm using that one. One. Mm -hmm. Ta-da! So for this version, for our first attempt, I mean, I think it turned out pretty good. The real test is going to be once the eggs have been refrigerated because we only have three a piece i think for i think this run i mean it turned out good proportionally wise i think it'll be really good my assistant but uh, the real test will be when we heat them up in the morning and if they taste as good as they taste now because of course the chef i had to taste it you want to try my egg here get this big fluffy one <laughs> the sausages smell like uh, maple syrupy for whatever reason but uh, I mean that will be the real test so what do you think I think I'm gonna like I mean, it like we, like we said earlier you know it is a very much more healthy meal does that get English <laughs> it is a very much better meal when it comes to healthy over cereal or over pop tarts especially you know but like i said I you take i don't eat pop tarts but you know take this get you some toast if you have a toaster at work or mm -hmm. something you know get you a piece of toast or something like that and you're good yeah so i mean we'll see how it tastes in the morning and go from there yeah and we'll you know try it out we're gonna you know, figure out how long it needs to cook. 
and uh, we'll probably put that in the description below uh, on our experiment as it goes <laughs> so we'll put that in the description below so make sure you check that out as well yeah i mean like you said there's so many options with it i mean it looks very basic and i mean it is very basic i think it took us like maybe 10 minutes mm -hmm. to make three breakfast three days worth of breakfast for both of us so i mean if you're a single person or if you're making them for your kids because i think the kids would love these mm -hmm. and my kids are very early morning people i mean they get up at 4 45 on their own accord so i mean i'm not i'm the last thing i want to do in the morning is cook so i mean these would be great for my kids and you can kind of you know personalize them because you know one of your kids might not like the sausage so they want hash browns you know is you can mix and mash it so well and you can do toast or you can do a burrito or mm -hmm. pancakes, those waffles or whatever. You know, it's just something easy. Yep. So, from our kitchen to yours, hope that you like this. Um, what do you want to call it? Hope you like this meal prep. I hope it gives you some ideas on how you can go healthier on your breakfast or your lunches to take to work. Um, if you try it, let us know in the comments below what you thought about it. Yeah. Or what you did differently. What what kind of, you know, what you put in your eggs or what you made in your breakfast scramble. <laughs> there you go. So, thank you for watching. If you wouldn't, hit that thumbs up button. Also, subscribe to our channel so you get notification. Or, and the bell icon so you get notifications when we have our uh, more formal topical videos on Fridays and our mismatch of videos on Tuesdays and bonus videos like this one. So until next time, happy meal planning and happy parenting. See you later.